Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Battletech. Joining me is JK Lantern. Pining for the days when we worked for Bob Carita. You know that, I think that alone should make us reevaluate some life choices. <laughs> Bob Carita deals straight with us, damn it. <laughs> Let's see, that's still 109 out. That's 156 out. But it was Bob Carita. Was it? I didn't, I'm pretty I, sure I, I it just was... looked at the date. I just looked at how long. That's 85. That will be Bob Carita. An agent has gone rogue, must be prevented from sharing what he knows. Kill the defector. No tonnage requirements. I also like it already. Books. But also, it's short. Get lost tech out of it. And no restrictions. Calculating course now, Commander. Let's go see Bob. Full Another flashpoint. We, we didn't know that Bob Carita was going to be popping up here. We just got lucky. I didn't see that flashpoint pop up earlier. But another yep. one just popped up. Okay. So we know where we're going. Who That's the hell are you? House Nakano, a minor noble family. In the in the Draconis Combine. Yeah. Interesting. So not Bob Carita, but it is Draconis. Okay. Huh? Criminal Minds is Leal. And then Flattened Earth is also. More Capellan Confederation. Okay. For yeah, now, yeah. I I believe we have a date with Bob Carita. Of course, after this, we'll have to do that one that's under a hundred days. Yeah. And then there'll be another one that's cycled into under a hundred days. By the time we get over there. We are definitely getting more and more flashpoints to pop up. And once again, this one pops up again. And apparently, me and Behemoth win. Travel to It's Burr. To It's Burr? It's Burr. It's Burr. Er, Burr! Must be a cold planet. <laughs> Seriously, I can hear that conversation. So what's the panel like? It's Burr! <laughs> I, I mean, Planet Bob is a thing. Uh... Planet Deke is a thing. Um, Butte Hold is a thing. Granted, I'll, that I'll... looks like somebody was trying to say Pittsburgh and couldn't quite say it. Okay, Bob, what you got for us? So he needs someone killed, and he needs them killed right. At least he's up front about it. Yep. It is a convoy ambush, though. Oh, damn. I hate those. A 
man, Yosh Yoshito Okada, a diplomat who fled to the Capellans with Combine State Secrets. See, I like that he's telling us why he's having us do yeah. this. They do not. So he has to leave. He he's going to Heraclitus. He's about to have a party. Yeah, well, you know. I don't know who this person is. Gaku Hironaka. From the Galadin regulars. Oh boy, yeah. he's gonna be in. The Lancer platoon leader in the Combine. Yeah, Chewie is not high up on the food chain. <laughs> yeah, he is going to party. Oh, awesome. Well, you know. I like your style, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you're in the Galadon regular serious samurai, um Galadon was the core region of the Draconis Combine for a long time, and in fact, the uh, House Karita first arose on one of the Galadon planets, and before House Karita was the Draconis Combine, it was the Alliance of Galadon. So the, the warriors of the Galadon regulars tend to be traditionalists, and very, very strict in their beliefs that they are loyal samurai. They also really, really don't get along with mercenaries. Yeah. For a simple convoy ambush, this is a lot of skulls. Oh, holy shit. Not bad pay, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think I think the Black Knight and the Marauder can actually get where they need to go to blow up the convoy before it escapes. The the Annihilator and Genesis also have decent range. Yeah, but considering these maps, it probably won't have a line of sight to actually hit with the Annihilator. Mm -hmm. The Genesis will, but. The inexorable cannot shoot over a hill that well. Yeah. But it will take apart anything it can see. Yes. I mean, I was able to pack this many UAC-5s on it and give it maximum armor, so... Uh, again, there's a configuration of it that's using <clears throat> certain technologies that has five Gauss rifles... For when, for when whatever is in front of you absolutely has to fucking die. See, the thing is, I think the UAC-5s do more damage than the Gauss Rifles. That offends me on a deep fundamental level. I'd have to look I at will... it again, but I think, I think the Gauss Rifles do 75 damage. Yeah, And the yeah. UAC-5s do 2 times 45 Of course, you are using a lot more ammo. Yeah. And you don't... I think the Gauss Rifles have very superior range. Okay, so... So, um, 
I'm, I'm gonna nerd out about Karita for a minute. Um, their forces are divided into... You can divide them into two basic categories. You can divide them into more than two basic categories. But fundamentally, you can divide them into two categories. You've got the floating regiments, which are just regiments that get assigned any old place at the whims of whoever's commanding the Combine at the time. Um, that may be the coordinator, or if they wanted to deputize someone, that could be the Gunji no Kanre, or Deputy for Military Affairs, which is a job that only exists some of the time. And then there are the District Regulars. Karita is, is um, divided into several large military districts, each of which is run by a warlord or taishu. Those warlords don't just have immense military power, they have immense political power, and they tend to be ambitious. So, um, meetings of the Cretan High Command tend to devolve into shouting matches as the various warlords fight with each other. And a lot of, uh, the DCMS running involves the coordinator trying to play the warlords off each other. Galadon tends to be one of the most traditionalist. They have a long chunk of border with House Davian, and they consider they consider themselves among the best warriors of the Combine. The Dieron regulars would like to have a word with them about that, but, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, you see what I've got to do here. Here is where they're going to be starting from, roughly. Maybe a little bit further back. But I've got to keep them from getting to here. Okay. And I am positioned, like, right down... Like, if you... Here's the road they're going to be traveling across, presumably. Yeah. I'm right down the slope. Okay. So I've got... I think I've got... On my way. I read you, Commander. Moving out. A uh, pretty good plan of attack here. I mean, they're still going to be over here somewhere. As long as I can get to this road and just start walking down it, I will encounter the... Uh, I will encounter the convoy. On my way! And there is a very good chance I may just have to stomp the convoy, depending on where it is. Always satisfying. Coordinates received. You betcha! Okay, I already have two units on the road itself. So the, uh, the Cretan district regulars can, each district kind of has its own personality. Galadon is definitely the, we're the most honorable samurai. Dieron is victory at any cost. Pesht is, we look good in a parade. Um, Be Benjamin, the Benjamin district regulars are, we're flexible. Could we get some goddamn respect, please? But do oh. they know yoga? <laughs> Probably. Um, and then at this point in history, the Rosselhog regulars are... We really, really, really don't want to be... Combo. Kurt, my brother Kurge's favorite are the Benjamin regulars. The people who know, know why. Hey there. I'm still not able to actually shoot at them yet. I copy. They've got a lock on me. I think this is the entire convoy right here. 
the 60, I'm... 80, 80, and 80. Okay. I can't quite get into the trees yet, but I can brace to uh, give me some defense. That was a Shrek. Look. That was a Shrek. Been a minute since we've yeah. seen one of those. Moving to position. Locking in all the Not quite enough to kill it. Enough to give it a bad day, at least. Yep. It's a mech with some missiles on it. Every so often, it's refreshing for them to give us a mission to remind you that Right! Vehicles can absolutely ruin your day. They do that fairly often, though. <laughs> what can I do for you? Don't need to tell me twice. Let's see. One Shrek, two Shrek, a Manticore, a King Crab. Oh, and no. And another Shrek. So Shreks are everywhere here. Okay, this one is just about dead. I don't care about that king crab. Ready. Mostly because my annihilator is going to be in range of it very soon. Also, so will this. I think she needs to switch to decaf. You know, I'm good with her being hyper. So much for the king crab. <laughs> We're eating tonight. We're having crab disc. Receiving you. On the move. Everything else looks like it's a vehicle. I fully expect there to be a lot more mechs headed this way. Yeah. Like, I'm waiting for the twist to hit us. Yeah. Then again, it may not hit in the mission. Black Knight's about to get knocked over. 
orders. Sadly, I could target, but that wouldn't help much. A head capper doesn't get to do much without heads to actually cap. Yeah. So many shreks. Manticore actually got a good solid hit in there. What's up, boss? Clearly it must pay. In tacos. Is this a badass vehicle unit they got going on? Yep. Well, they had like two a... full lances of vehicles. Yep. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, vehicles generally are much cheaper than mechs, uh, Although the Shrek is expensive for a tank, as is the Manicore, but still, still cheaper than the average mech unit in terms of sea build cost. That's a vehicle kill. Like as much as I don't know the vehicles as well as I could, there are definitely plenty of tanks. I do like, and there are definitely factions where I love the fact that they are tank heavy. Shrek or a Shrek? Wait a minute, what did the other Shrek have? It's not PPCs. <sighs> Game. Why, why must you vex me like this? Um, there's not much of their convoy left. And you can actually focus fire on vehicles. It keeps you from spreading out to the other sides of the ship. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. Enemy unit destroyed. Mission successful. Okay. So that was uh. easy enough. Uh-huh. That mean the McMurder took some structure damage. It'll buff out. But this isn't a consecutive deployment, so I can just kind of hang back and repair it. Yeah. Because I don't think it took any critical shots, it just took some damage. Yeah, not much. Just some. It just got a whole. It almost lost its right arm. Glad it didn't. That, le as I recall, we put a very fancy laser on, very attached to it. No, I think that's where the UAC five is. We don't have any fancy lasers on it. Oh, we were talking about putting fancy lasers. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, project for future us. I get to build another king crab. Okay. Unless there's something just amazing. Both the AC-20s dropped in salvage off the king crab. Some some decent PPCs on there, which would matter if more, 
none of our mechs currently are using PPCs, which is no. interesting. We still got one of them. We got the good medium laser. Okay. 